Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. So, while I've got my paints out, I'm going to try another one of these, but using Liquitex Basics. So, I have Quinacridone Magenta and Dioxazine Purple. And I have made them 9 grams paint, 18 grams Floetrol, and 8 grams water. And that's what I have here. And I've still got the same mixture of satin enamel, which is 16 grams white Montmartre paint, 11 grams satin enamel, 27 grams Floetrol, and 8 grams water. So it's way more paint than I need, but I made this up for the last pour, and I'm going to use it in this one as well. So what I'm going to do this time... I'm going to pour a little bit of the purple in. Then I'm going to go some satin enamel. Then the magenta. Then some more purple. Then some satin enamel. More magenta. More purple. Actually, I'm just going to go the rest of the purple, I think. I've only got a small canvas, so... I'm hoping I have got enough of everything. Then the rest of the magenta. Now, this time, I hope to get some nice clouds. So I got some with the other brand, but not as many as I was hoping. So I thought I would give it a try with the Liquitex Basics. So I'm just going to get some gloves on. Going to move this one across. Yep, that feels nice and even. Now I don't have a paper cup, so I just gotta to try to squeeze this to a little bit of a spout and see how I can go. giving a pour and then start doing rings all right by the look of it I definitely do have enough paint About to lose it over that side. I am getting different reactions in my cup so hopefully I'm going to get better reactions from this one. The white definitely does kind of blend. I wonder if my white, whether the satin enamel is a little bit too liquidy. Right, 
I'm going to have to start tilting over the edges. A lot more paint than I thought I had. I might keep swirling. Okay, getting a much better cloud effect this time. Just going to run my fingers underneath and get rid of this excess paint that's dripping off. Yeah, it's working a lot better with this brand. Well, these gloves are a little bit tight. That's better. So this is just this little small canvas. I thought these come in a, a pair. You get the bigger one with the smaller one in it. And I thought I'll just try it while I had everything out. And the Liquitex Basics is giving me much better results. It's going to give a quick little torch. There we go. Any bubbles there are gone. Yeah, definitely getting nicer results. So see how I'm getting the cloud formations coming up when I didn't get it with this brand of paint so much. But I also didn't tilt off as much paint. So maybe by me tilting more off, I stretched it out and caused more clouds to form. Not so much magenta left, mostly a, a bit of purple with um, some streaks of pink. But what we'll do is, like normal with these cloud pours, you are best to pause it and let it settle into itself and um, the clouds will develop more and see what actually happens before I call this one a completed artwork. But I was quite surprised how much paint I didn't have to use because I'm not used to working with such a small little canvas. So we will pause this and come back in about 10 minutes or so. So, we're back. So I've left it for about five minutes and as you can see, definite more cloud formation. So this one here, using um, Montmartre satin acrylic paints, just didn't give the effects when the same cloud mixture with Liquitex Basics, these ones, gave much better cloud effects. So I probably won't bother putting this video up of this one here that I did, because it didn't really give me the desired effect. But I will put this video up of this one. But at least now on the camera, you can actually see what using a different brand of paint can do. See, even the drippings that have come off of this first one don't have clouds in it. When this one here, the drippings have lots of clouds in them. So I can tell that there's going to be way more effects with that paint. So, if you ever do do a painting and it works out not how it's supposed to, try a different brand. So, I normally use normal Montmartre and that does seem to work with cloud pores. But this signature um, satin or premium satin acrylic didn't seem to work. But I love the Liquitex Basics. I'm going to have to do this on a bigger canvas because I lost a lot of the, the magenta. And I've got mostly the, the um, purple. That's kind of stayed. But this is, I really didn't know how much paint to use on a canvas this small. Um, I'm really not used to working with ones like that. So I might do use this brand 
on a large um, rectangle canvas and see how that works out and try different things and different color combinations but this may still change a tiny bit but I don't think it's going to change much but we've got clouds here got like pearl clouds that have come up it's got nice little streaks and effects that have all come through it and it's even got clouds running down the side which I think it actually needs yeah it's still dripping a little bit so if I just get rid of those then hopefully it won't keep pulling any of my paint off Very unusual round canvases, I'd have to say. <laughs> it's my first time working with a round canvas, and it's very different to what I'm used to. But I'm going to bring you down for a close up so you can have a look at what it looks like. Okay, so there we go. Colours aren't coming out proper in the camera, it's a little bit darker in camera. But as you can see, there's lots of little effects, pearls, clouds, all different things happening in this. So really, really happy. Same satin enamel with different paints only gave me slight effects. Not as good as this one. So this was just a little test run to see how these paints work and what looks good. Won't use this again for a cloud pour but I will use this for a cloud pour. So, what do you guys think? Um, and the ratios will all be in the description so you can actually test it out for yourself. So, have fun, I hope you liked it. So give me a comment, like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. Have a good night everybody, and I'll see you soon for another pour. Okay, bye.